Yo YouTube, what's good? You know who it is. Mike here back again with another video. For any new viewers out there, please subscribe. I appreciate everybody out there watch my stuff. But let's hop into it, man. Y'all see the title. Mosley, Sugar Shane Mosley goes on to say, uh, you know, Pacquiao's best shot is to drill Mayweather early. I think that's um that that's that's a good strategy, but the big shot that people are talking about that Pacquiao has or had, I don't think he has that shot, quote unquote, to really, you know, hurt me with early. But this is boxing, anything can happen. But I mean, I think that's a good strategy by Mosley saying that, uh, you know, you should drill him early. Just like, um, you know, Mosley drilled Mayweather back in 2010 when they had their fight when he hit Mayweather with that crazy overhand right to hit him on the temple. Mayweather's legs buckled, he tried to hold his hands up. Shane came in with a right hook, with a left hook, and a right hook to the body. And Shane jumped on him, but after that, Shane was fucking tired after he did all that. So, um, I kind of knew before those two guys fought, I was like, yo, Shane ain't going to win. I was just like, he doesn't have it anymore. Even though he beat Margarito, a guy that was standing straight up in front of him. I was like, I don't see Mosley doing it. I was like, it's basically, you know, years too late. I mean, now if it was, you know, five, six, seven years before that, I would obviously put my money on Shane, but by that point I knew Shane wasn't going to beat him. Um, you know, once Shane landed that shot in the second round, I was like, damn, I might lose his bet because I had money on, uh, you know, Mayweather winning, so when he got hit with the shot, I was like, damn. I was like, shit, Mayweather might lose, but Mayweather ended up, you know, holding on because Shane obviously got tired. Now, if Shane wouldn't have got tired, I mean, who knows? So, he thinks Pacquiao's best shot is to drill him early. Let's listen what uh, Shane had to say. Did he have to say anything? Did it, okay, he said, um, Shane said, I almost knocked him out. Mayweather with a sh uh, straight out the gate. That would be a good tip for Pacquiao. He, he can't give Mayweather a chance to get comfortable or pick up on his rhythm. If he's going to win against Mayweather, it's going to have to be in the first three or four rounds tops. He's like, we'll have to go with Mayweather, plus Mayweather has a razor and Pacquiao doesn't, so I'm definitely going with Mayweather on this one. Although I like Manny personally, and I wish him the best. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sugar Shay Mosley basically saying, the first three or four rounds, he's going to have to start drilling Mayweather early. That way, you know, he can get Mayweather behind on points, and then after that, I guess he could probably try to, you know, counterpunch Mayweather after the three or four rounds, because I mean, Mark Tushop Johnson said the same thing on Fight Hype. Shot south of Mark Tushop Johnson, he's a uh, former champion in the DC area. He said the same thing, like after the fourth round, Mayweather shuts him out. So, I mean, I think it's a good strategy. I think, um, you know, he should kind of do what Mosley said. Just kind of, you know, drill Mayweather early, get him behind on points, because we know, we do know Mayweather was behind on points in the Zab Judah fight and the Shane Mosley fight. I think he was maybe like two or three runs behind. And then he ended up coming back. So, uh, you know, getting Mayweather behind like three or four rounds. And after that, don't try to continue what you're doing. Because you continue to do the same thing, Mayweather going to catch your rhythm and time. And he going to start counting what you're doing. So once you get him, uh, Mayweather behind, you know, three or four rounds, that's when you can probably start. You can start being a counter puncher. Counter what, you know, Mayweather's doing. Maybe it'll, you know, change things a little bit. Because you continue to do the same thing for five or six rounds by like the, you know, Fifth round, Mayweather gonna catch on to what you're doing, and he gonna start, you know, tagging your ass. So, uh, it's a good strategy, man. I mean, jump on Mayweather early, drill him early. The shot that he need to drill Mayweather. Let, I mean, obviously, I don't think he has the shot to, you know, to punch anymore to hurt or to really like, put it like this. He don't have the punch to the punch that he had years ago that when he was mock, knocking out. Uh, you know, Cotto, um, you know, Ricky Hatton, uh, Margarito, I don't think he has that same punch anymore, but then again, like I said, this is boxing, and anything can happen. Um, I mean, I don't know, he thinks, Mosley thinks that, um, you know, since, um, Pacquiao had a reason, that was, he was the mo he was, uh, you know, part of, uh, Pacquiao's success, as the reason was, uh, that could be true, now he's saying, you know, our reason is with Mayweather, so he gives Mayweather the edge just because, a reason is with is with him. I mean, I don't know, man. It's, it's a thing like this, man. You you have trainers. You can have your trainers, your strength and conditioning coach, all you want in training camp. When when it's fight night, it comes down to the two fighters. So, I mean, it can't have something to do with you know Pacquiao winning and getting all the knockouts. It could, but 
then again, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just think um, it's a good strategy by Mosey saying he should jump on uh, Mayweather early. For obvious reasons, that's very obvious. You should jump on him and get him down a couple rounds. And once you got him down, you know, three rounds or four rounds, after that, so Mayweather going to basically start getting your talent. So once he, once you get him down three or four rounds, and he's going to start thinking you're going to keep doing the same thing. That's my thing. Pacquiao should, you know, kind of change, but he's going to become the counter puncher and counter off what Mayweather's doing and throw in combination every time. Not every time, but, you know, use this up here, be smart, and um, know when to throw combinations and know when not to throw combinations. So I think he should do that strategy. And if he do that strategy, I think he should uh, be able to win the fight. Especially if he go 12 rounds, he's going to get that decision. I think the same thing. Roy Jones thinks the same thing. If he goes 12, Mayweather ain't won a decision. Mayweather in Vegas, the fight go 12 and Pacquiao's still in his feet. Mayweather will not win a decision. Regardless of Pacquiao put up a good fight, a decent fight, or a bad fight. Well, I'm not going to say a bad fight, but all he got to do is put up a decent fight or a good fight. Whichever one he chooses to do. Um, if he go 12 and he's still on his feet, he going to win that decision. Mayweather going to lose all those belts if he go 12. Now, if somebody get knocked out, different story. So, y'all let me know what y'all think of this, man. Sugar Shane mostly basically saying Pacquiao has to drill him early. That's a good strategy. I like it. Um, that's what I said. Go out and jump on his ass like Madonna did. And, yeah, just jump on him and give him all he can handle. So, y'all let me know what y'all think of this, man. And holler at my mouth. All right? Peace.